Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to take a keyframed animation and uh, turn it into stop motion using two ways one automatic and one manual. What I have here is some keyframed animation. This technique only works when we have keyframes. If you're using any kind of procedural animation, it will not work. So it's very simple to create a stop motion by right-clicking on the animated objects and going to the animation tags and adding a track modifier. Make sure tag and inclusion are both visible. Let's open up the space a bit and changing the mode to posterization. And now I'm going to press play and you will see that when I increase the frame step to something like four, we're going to get this odd thing happening because currently it only affects the object that owns the tag and nothing underneath. Everything underneath here is still playing smoothly. So just go and turn on the hierarchy, which resides in the inclusion tab. That's why we need it open. So click on hierarchy and now everything is playing as expected. So let's stop this and rewind and remove this tag and see how we can do this using another method. Let's take a look at the timeline down here and let's make sure we only have this uh, Mixamo hips hierarchy. I'm going to right click and say unfold all. And you can see that uh, some of these joints don't have keyframes on every single frame. And for this method to work, it's good practice to have a keyframe everywhere. So with everything selected, let's do that. And we're going to go to the functions and we're going to bake the animation of every single frame and make sure we don't have animated parameters. Rotation and position is good. We do not want clean tracks because clean tracks are the tracks that don't add keyframes if nothing is moving. And I do not want a copy because I want to put these baked keyframes on the same object and replace the old ones. Press OK. And there you go. Everything now has a keyframe. Let's close this and let's rewind and see what happens. You wouldn't see any difference. We need to go now and remove some frames from in between. So back to the timeline and with all this rig selected, I'm middle clicking on the top rig. I'm going to go back to functions and I'm going to look for delete every nth frame. So when I bring this up, I'm going to delete every second frame. So it's not going to delete the first one, but the second, not the third, but the fourth and so forth. I'm going to press OK. And now if I want, this is uh, an animation every two frames. You can't see the difference, but there's a very specific reason for that. I'm going to show you in a second. Go to functions again and delete again every second frame. And now we have every four frames. Now it may seem interesting that it's still smooth, but that's because of the keyframe interpolation. What I need to do is make it step because otherwise it's going to interpolate from one value to the other and it looks very smooth. So click on this button here, press play, and now we have our stop motion animation. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.